Right guys, so today we're going to be doing a little walkthrough of a project I made last year. This is a sort of deep house track inspired by like Gorgon City, Sony Federa and all the people who were kidding it in year 2021. As always, you can download this project from my Patreon. The link for that is in the bio. Yeah, so this is what we're going to be walking through. Bit of a shitter to be fair, but I basically added that to add a um, bit more. It's got longer decay on it and it's more open, uh, so basically it helps add energy without it. Got the shaker. Side chain slightly to the kick, just helps add a bit of rhythm, a bit of groove. Then we've got this rim shot. This is also from the Big Z pack. This is from the Noizu. Oh, this is just more hats. Basically, just helping add a bit more driving force. So you've got, if you can listen, you've got like a closed hat sort of a shaker and like a ride sort of thing. Not a ride. Oh fucking, what'd you call it? Can't remember. Um, like a shaker, basically. Which is a closed hat that's going to... Then we've got this wood here. This is from a... What is it? James Hype. Okay, so that's from his pack, one of his packs. You can get on his website. Um, it's quite good. Basically shows his projects. Um, and the samples used in them. I wish it was an Ableton project, but it's not. It's basically just samples, which is a bit shit. I guess he doesn't want to give away too many of his secrets. Um, then we've got this little snare bill from James Hype also. On with this. Put his crash, James Hype as well. Again, it's just lots of little elements in the build up and the drop, just to make that transition a little bit smoother. 
Right, let's get on to the best part. So the bass. This is, although it's bass, it's more of a lead, the way I've used it. So on this, it's a bass sound, okay? But then with this uh, EQ, I've taken out all the lows. Also added loads of distortion onto the effects. I think that's just making it like that. Yeah, look, loads of different effects, bit of reverb. Again, this, I was just trying to go a bit crazy with the sound design. Um, make something sound a bit gritty and a bit, you know, fun. I've also, to make it that sound as it does, but otherwise, boring, but then you're basically making it to a chord, a seventh chord. So that's why it sounds nice. I do a lot of this in my recent productions as well. Um, in terms of the midis, it's off beat. You could move it on beat, it's up to you. Yeah, I thought I've sort of thrown it off beat just to sort of work um, with the ARP, just make it a bit chaotic and un unsuspecting for the listener, I guess. So this is kind of all over the place. So we'll get to that in a second. Right, then the main bass. Let's open everything up. So we've got this compressor. All that's doing is compressing the audio so it's a bit louder. Um, then we've got this EQ. I'm taking out the subs. I'm taking away this. Right, it's very heavy and it couldn't really hear the kick drum pop through. Uh, muted this bit a bit just so the kick can come through. And then all of this to compensate for all of that cutting, I've boosted the mid region is around 660 hertz. I've also lowered a bit of the top, because it's a bit, um, I don't know, just a bit harsh. Take away some of that character that I didn't really want. In terms of the synth sound itself, uh, this one, the Sound Factory, um, what is it, the Marla pack. This is a really nice bass. Um, that clicking you can hear is coming from the kickstart. No, it's not, it's come from the synth, but you can't hear it in the track, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, all we've got here is a square wave that moves slightly. I don't know if I've got a technical name. Uh, this isn't actually doing anything, it's not FMing from that, so I guess that's what the sound that's making. In terms of the main sound, I guess it's coming from the distortion. But mainly it's this square wave. Again, we've got this sub, noise. Yeah, this is a great preset. Um, I think I've probably tweaked it a bit, but yeah, this low pass filter, so it's not actually opening up that much. Because I think, look, if you open it up too much, it sounds a bit crap. And then in terms of these, the macros, what have we got? We've got this opener which opens up, so if you can hit it properly, basically just opening up the filter envelope. So this, um, this helps to add a bit of movement to it. I'm not doing it too much though, because otherwise it sounds a bit cheap. This is the same as this, but it's just um, the sustain goes on the whole note. Yeah, I use this in my track Honey, um, or a very similar variation of this. It's quite an obscure sound, it doesn't always work, but I don't know, something about it I do like. Um, then we've got this Reese, which sits under this, so together it sounds like this. Again, this is in your face gritty. Again, the Reese bass, let's have a look. I think I've Oh yeah, all it is, it's not even a reese bass, it's just a bass, sub bass coming from a saw wave. That's literally it. Init initiate preset on Serum and you've got that mate. Done. Simple. No processing, just clean. Got this pad, made it in wavetable. 
I think it's a preset. However, yeah, pretty basic pad. You can use anything really. Um, two sawtooths. Yeah, pretty basic. In terms of the chords, all it is is what D sharp. So yeah, it's just the root note and the root note up again, then a fifth. That's it. And then in this part here, we just follow the bass pattern. Which I've not actually got to. So let's have a look at the bass. We're starting down on the root. Actually, no, this is the root. So D shot's the root. So we've gone one down just to add a bit of a kick up. We're also not on the first beat. We're skipping that beat. This is very Gorgon City style. This is what they do on a few of their tracks. Um, yeah, it really helps to add a bit of rhythm and also more of a different experience to the listener than it just being straight on the on the first bar but yeah on this one we do actually skip it back onto the bar not sure why i've done that just sort of um and then back here we go off the bar again yeah just playing around i guess um i probably didn't even know that it was different fuck knows again we got off the beat it really works here so it adds a bit of an anticipation for that half a second when nothing hits. The listener's sort of going, oh, what's fucking going on there? And then bosh, it hits in. But if you listen, it's only like half a second. How does it get here? Right, and then in this breakdown, the bass notes change slightly and I've added to so look a few funky notes so all I've done is the root note which it starts on then up again then this is just that up again and this helps adds a bit of funk to it you know but again variation from this to this it just adds a bit of a new experience for the listener so yeah variation in bass I think is key um, Right, so this goes out for the whole track. This is literally just the M1 preset choir. Um, side change it to the kick. Notes, it's just every single beat, just like a kick drum. It does, it adds a bit of atmosphere, I guess. No effects on it, really. Nothing. I guess there's reverb in the stock itself. Um, but yeah, if you open up any M1, this is the first thing that comes in. So yeah, I think it sounds pretty cool. Panned it slightly. Just adds a bit of background noise. Then we've got this string. Probably a bit quiet in the mix, so you could make that louder. Again, we've got another string. This string is M1, big strings. This one is also big strings. So I don't know if it's a duplicate or what. I mean, I think it is. Fuck it. Then we've got this arc. The notes are a bit all over the place. So it goes up, up, down, 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 down. But this root note, that's the key that we're in, stays the same the whole time. So basically just a climbing up, climbing down. In terms of the sound, it's an Eric Prids preset, which is from this guy, Synth Hacker. And this is on his big pack, one of them. Um, don't know if I've tweaked it a bit, might have. But yeah, this is the patch. It's quite squelchy. Um, nice bit of delay on it as well. Yeah, a lot of the characters come from that hyper and it's sort of detuned. So yeah, that's that. And then we've got a slight variation that down here. It's basically the same as that, but I've just clicked this button. Oh, this half button. So it's just double the speed. 
actually no, that's wrong. It's a completely different up. Uh, same preset sound, but I've just gone bomb, 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 bomb. Basically, it's more energetic than this one. This one is a bit confusing on the ears. Uh, uh, uh. Right, next we've got this synth, which I deleted. Um, then we've got this vocal. Got Nectar on here, I'm not even sure it's doing anything. It's literally not. I could probably delete that and you wouldn't even notice the difference. That's here. I mean, it makes the highs a bit harsher, but there's a bit of an EQ on it. DSer, compressor, standard. Um, then we got this. Again, this vocal is from Splice. Um, pretty nice vocal. It comes in two parts, so you have to search for them. Um, yeah, it's called this DS Vet, and this one's called DS Vetment Paralyzed Vocal D Minor. Um, processing I've got a vocal hall on the send bus, and that's going to the group. Um, so, without it, it's a bit dry, so just stand a bit of reverb, really. Um, this main drop one compressor, pretty standard, just making it louder. And on here, got the same compressor on the group. Also another compressor and a bit of a delay. But yeah, there's really not a lot of processing on this. Um, in terms of the chops over here. Ah, this. Compressor is side chaining to the kick. That's what that's doing. Or is it on this one? This compressor, no. This compressor side chain to the kick. That's why you can hear it ducking. around with that it needs to be faded Is it um i thank you very much for watching as always you can download this project from my patreon the link for that is below all right thank you very much guys take care bye